Hello everyone, you've seen the XB here and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be looking at some of the hidden gems in the African Cup of Nations that you should be looking at. Okay, so for this video I'm going to be trying my best not to use players that won't have utility after the African Cup of Nations and players that play in teams that might actually get somewhere in the tournament. Of course, none of this is financial advice and please, please, please do your own research and only listen to me at your own risk. Okay, so the first player we're going to be looking at is Ramaz Daruki, who is an Algerian 23-year-old who plays for FC20 in the Eredivisie. Now, let's just look at some of the facts for Ramaz Daruki. He does go for a 0.012 Ethereum for his limited card, whereas his rare card goes for 0.105 Ethereum, which in my opinion is a very fair price considering he's a consistent starter for FC20 in the Eredivisie, meaning after the African Cup of Nations, you can get some utility off him. And he is also under 23 for the next six months if you do want to use him in the under 23 divisions. Now, in terms of Algeria, he started four of their last five World Cup qualifier matches and the match that he didn't play, the whole team was basically rotated. So, in my opinion, I think he's going to be a starter in this African Cup of Nations. And he is a key player for them and Algeria are the defending champions of the African Cup of Nations. And in terms of scoring, he has an average of 47 in his last 40 games and he plays for a good team which is Algeria which will probably thrash every team they come up against which means more opportunities for points. So personally I think he's a good player to look at and yeah. Now the next player and one who I think is an absolute bargain goes by the name of Amadou Diawara. You've probably heard of him. He's a midfielder who plays for AS Roma and plays for the Guinea national team and is 24 years old. Okay, so Amadou Diawara's limited price goes for 0.005 Ethereum, whereas its rare price goes for 0.05 Ethereum, which is an absolute bargain and let me explain why. So, he's a key player for Guinea who many people are underestimating this AFCON. I don't know, I feel like I'm saying Guinea wrong. I feel like there's another way to say it, but we'll move on. And Mourinho, who is the AS Roma manager, made it clear that DOR is not in his plans, so a move is likely on the table this January, with many clubs declaring their interest, such as United, Cagliari, and Galatasaray, who are really interested. And at this price, I think it's amazing for a player like this who's gonna get some game time soon, so that will make his price boom. And if a move is found in January, then I'd expect his price to boom even more. So personally, I think it's a great investment, but of course, do your own research and look at the risk before buying it. Now, the next player is probably the one I'm most excited for as I am Egyptian. I have watched this guy play and oh boy, is he amazing. And he goes by the name of Omar Marmouche who plays for VfB Stuttgart and is a forward who is 22 years old. Now, let's take a deeper dive on Omar Marmouche, the Egyptian. His limited does go for 0.02 Ethereum, whereas his rare goes for 0.23 Ethereum. And he plays for Stuttgart, but he is on loan from Wolfsburg. And he is a breakout star for Egypt, and he's been playing insane for Egypt, although he's only played two games. But in those two games, he got one goal and one assist, and the goal is just crazy. You're probably seeing it on your screen now. And after the African Cup of Nations, you can even get some crazy utility off him, because he is having a great season for Stuttgart with nine games, two goals, and three assists, and he even did win the Rookie of the Month for the Bundesliga in his first month. And there is a possibility he may not start 100% of the games in the group stages because Mahmoud Trezeguet is coming back from an injury, but I can guarantee you he'd start at least maybe 66% of the games, which is like two out of three. And he is highly rated by many, and I believe he's going to be a future star. So, even if he doesn't have the insane African Cup of Nations, personally, I believe he's going to be a crazy player in the future. But of course, I am Egyptian, and some bias does come with that. And the next player goes by the name of Adama Traore. And although it might not be the Adama Traore we all know, the big bulky one, I'm really happy that I found this guy, and I might even consider picking up one of his limiteds, as I just think it's a really great find, and I'm going to explain why. Now let me explain why I think he's such a good find. So, if we look at his last five games, he has three DMPs and he played the most recent one, meaning that he's back. But in these three games, he was injured, he wasn't on the bench, he wasn't in the squad at all, so he was injured in these three games. And due to that, if we come over here to his price graph, we can see that at the start, his price was really high, averaging 0.18. But then we see a sudden drop as soon as his last five looks disgusting. But if we come to his scores and go to the last six months, oh my days, this guy's playing really well over here. Until, of course, it gets to the last five, which makes him unappealing. But also, the motto is buy low, sell high. And he does play for the Dark Horses in the African Cup of Nations, Mali. And 
they're expected to surprise everyone. In my opinion, I think they're going to go as far as the quarterfinals. And he is a starter for Mali as he did play four of their five last qualifier games. But he didn't play the last one because they were already qualified. So we expected some rotation. But yeah, I might even pick one of his limiteds up because I think he's a really good fight, to be honest. And he's on a huge low at the moment. Now, the next player we're going to be taking a look at, and I'm sure most of you already know him, goes by the name of Abdou Diallo, who is a 25-year-old defender who plays for Paris Saint-Germain and the Senegalese national team. Before I get started on Diallo, I just want to bring this up because Sora Data says he's expected to return late January 2022. And I've searched up his injury, but I can't seem to find anything regarding an injury. And there's photos of him training with the Senegalese national team, so I'm not too sure what's going on. But of course, as usual, do your own research and see if he's injured before making a purchase on him. Okay, so now let's look a little deeper into it. Abdou Diallo limited price goes for 0.017 Ethereum, whereas his rare goes for 0.12 Ethereum. And there's always been a doubt on the second center back for Senegal after Khalidou Koulibaly. But with Diallo getting called up, he seems to have filled that role. And although he isn't a starter for PSG, he's heavily linked with the move to AC Milan. And one of the sources that said this is Fabrizio Romano, who is Mr. Reliable and you can't go wrong with him. And then in terms of clean sheets and for Senegal, Senegal have a team, have a group that's literally full of shitters. Like you could stick me on one of the opposing teams and I'd do a better job. So you can expect clean sheets in my opinion. And it's a great investment if he is a starter at the AFCON and if he does get his move away to Milan. Now that is the end of the video guys, thank you so so much for watching and please 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 leave a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, it can be the most stupid comment, just leave a comment, I like reading the comments and um, if you did enjoy the video, I've got a couple more players that I have scouted but couldn't put in the video because I wanted to increase the watch time but anyways, uh, the link will be in the description so make sure to check that out but anyways with that being said, thank you guys for watching and peace.